Welcome everybody. We're at the Beach House Grill here in Old Town Fort Collins. Another great crowd on hand here tonight to enjoy some good food and to talk some Colorado State hoops. I'm Brian Roth and uh, first 30 minutes as always we'll talk Colorado State women's basketball with head coach Kristen Holt. We'll also be joined by freshman Sam Martin. She's in the uh, uh, audience tonight so we'll get her perspective on her first year as a CSU Ram and then we'll be joined by Tim Miles coming up in the second half of the program and talk some Colorado State men's basketball. The CSU women, they split last week. They lost to BYU on Wednesday night at home 64-55. to It is a Cougar team that looks like they're going to win the Mountain West Conference on the women's side, and certainly they could do no worse than tie for first. And then the Rams followed it up with a big win against Air Force on Saturday 70 to 49. The Rams snap a losing skid and they get back into the winning side of things and I know it's always nice to be able to snap a losing skid like that. Uh, you, you had played well in some spurts of the skid where you had some bad luck but in the end when you can finally break through it feels good. It does and uh, smiles on my fa our faces right after that win and just a relief that uh, we were able to get the, uh, the losing streak off of our back and focus on the rest of the season. I see you brought your team out with you again, threatening playing yeah. time once again. <laughs> uh, great to see everybody uh, out there. Of course, just like last week, I'm sure it's going to be the same story, Kristen. At about 6.40 tonight, they're going to clear out and go home and watch The Bachelor. That's what happened That's last what week. That's what they do. They That's were gone. They <laughs> he is pretty cute, though, isn't he? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't watch I don't, it. So. I just ask you, I go, do you watch The Bachelor? You know, I don't know what even what it is. <laughs> nope, yeah. I don't. It's another one of those uh, reality shows that kids tend to like, and, yeah. and adults the same. But yeah. let's go back to that BYU game on Wednesday. And uh, Cougars, uh, they, they got you in pro, but they've been getting just about everybody. I, uh, we've talked about it several times, but they seem to be the class of the conference this year. Yeah, I think they're definitely the best team. Um, and they've, they're just very well balanced. They get the job done. They've got a lot of different uh, parts to their team that are, are very good. They have depth. Uh, they've got freshmen that are, that are contributing to, to what they're doing. And uh, they're just a tough team to play. Um, you know, I liked, I liked a lot of things that we did in that game. Uh, I thought we held our ground. We, we did well on the boards against a bigger team. Um, but uh, just uh, as, as the game went along, they just executed. They, they passed the ball so well just watching the film. They make that extra pass to a wide open player or they find their shooters, their better shooters, and they execute very well. And they're a pretty deep team, aren't they? Very, yeah. They, I mean, they'll go 10, 10 deep. They could go further if they needed to. And, um, you know, they just got, they have seniors. They have experience. They have kids that... Um, you know, just know, have played a lot of minutes and know how to play and, and are really, I think, very focused right now. They're, they seem to be very locked in on what they want to accomplish. Colorado State was down by just eight at halftime. BYU would push that lead in double figures. You made a bit of a run on them, but weren't able to close it out. You end up losing by nine. You know, I went back and take, took a look at the stats from that contest to kind of maybe pick out a number here or there that might have helped lead to the loss. You know, I couldn't find any. I mean, those numbers were dead even. You talk about rebounding. You talk about turnovers. You talk about field goal percentage. They were all even. I know. It's, it, it was. It was an interesting game from that standpoint of looking at the stats and and to be honest, I have, uh, we play Air Force. I've watched so much Utah film. I, I hardly remember anything from the BYU game. It, it's uh, a kind of a distant memory, actually. Sure. So um, You I, forget I, the losses a little quicker, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you do. You try to, that's for sure. And uh, I can tell you quite a few details about Air Force game and, <laughs> and certainly about Utah. Well, well, we'll talk about that Air Force game. But one, one final point in the BYU game, it's my type of basketball game. There are only 27 total fouls called in the game. Only 15 free throws shot in the game meant that they were letting you guys play a little bit. Ever tell you about that game in 2001? Doing women's basketball, we were down in Nacogdoches, Texas. I think that's how you pronounce Where's it. That? Stephen F. Austin. It's it's almost in Louisiana. It's on the far eastern swamplands of of Texas. There there were 69 fouls oh my called in that contest, and there was over 70 free throws. It must have lasted two hours and 45 <laughs> minutes. It was wow. miserable. So when you get games where there's only 27 total fouls, not a ton of free throws. It sounds like the referees were letting you guys play. It's, they were. Yeah, th those yeah. are my type of games. Yeah. Well, we were, we were able to get some few digs in. No one saw, and <laughs> that, that's good for us. 
So the Rams fall 64-55, and it pushed that skid to five games. And you had Air Force coming in on Saturday, and I, I imagine you guys were looking at that game. You had already beaten the Falcons one time uh, this year down in, in Colorado Springs. Looking at that game kind of as a must win? Yeah, and, and those, those kind of games are actually tough games because they're, they're games that you're supposed to win. Uh, you've got them at home. Uh, they hadn't won a, a road game. I mean, there were a lot of things that, you know, pointed to us winning, and that's, that can be positive and give you, your kids confidence. We, I don't think we discussed with them that they hadn't won on the road. I don't think that was something that they needed to know. But, um, you know, we just came out. We got off to a good start, and, and we had people contribute and just kind of just kept pounding them. Again, the Rams would win that 70-49. to 49. We'll talk more about that Air Force game as we're just getting started here tonight from the Beach House Grill here in Old Town, Fort Collins. Stick with us from Nelligan Sports, the Colorado State Sports Network. Well, the Coors Light CSU Basketball Coaches Show continues tonight. We're live in Fort Collins for the final show of the season. Beach House Grill is the venue here tonight as we talk Colorado State women's basketball. Well, Poudre Valley Health System is proud to be the exclusive health care sponsor of Ram Athletics, and they're proud to state that when you need medical care, they're here for you. For more information, visit pbhs.org. Well, Colorado State to get that big win over Air Force on Saturday, 70 to 49, and with the win, the Rams go to 13 at 14 on the season, six and eight overall. And you know, going back and looking at that game story and looking at some of the stats, Chris, and it looked like that was a game that you dominated. I held them scoreless for the first three minutes of the game, I believe, 19 to three run towards the end of the first half, and kind of put the foot on that gas pedal and never let up. Yeah, that was the big key to the game. I thought was the last seven minutes of the first half. We finished finished that half out strong. That was a focus uh, for our team and we said that in timeouts and, and uh, talked about it in practice prior to playing Air Force and uh, that we have to finish out halves strong and going in the locker room have some momentum and uh, boy 19 to 3 that's you can't get much better than that and uh, just executed really well and defense was really scrappy. Yeah I was going to say 39% is what the Rams shot from the floor so it's not as if you guys we're uh, clicking on all cylinders, I guess, offensively and hitting right. a lot of shots. But when you shoot 39% in a game and still win by 21, it says something about your defensive effort. Yeah, and it, it was it was really good. We we used a lot um, of switching man in that game and um, just kind of walled off the perimeter. And you know they're not very big. And um, I I thought our bigger kids did it. Well, when I say bigger kids, that would be Sam. Um, <laughs> Sam did a nice job of being switched off on guards and. And, uh, and and we, so we did a nice job in that regard, and, and we got back in transition. And, um, you know, I, I really felt that Air Force, we got them to the point where they, they kind of gave up a little bit in the second half. And, uh, you know, normally you wouldn't think that coming from them, but uh, we, we got them to that point, and that's a, a credit to our team. You mentioned Sam Martin, 21 points in the game for the uh, freshman out of Parker, that Kim Mesta goes for 26. It was a career high in Mountain West Conference play. Yep, uh, Kim was good. She was good from the start. Um, and then uh, I think that was th Sam's third, maybe double-double. Um, so that was uh, good. And then we had contributions from, uh, really from everyone. Everyone did some good things in that game. And, uh, you know, sometimes like the Sarah Hemmings of this world don't get a lot of credit because her stats are not, uh, you know, going to stand out. But she just is solid. She takes care of the ball. She very seldom gets the ball turned over when she's being pressured. And, and uh, you know, Bonnie contributed. And I could go right down the line. It's just everyone did some good things. So was there a sense of relief coming off that game to, to get that win and get some of the good vibes again? Could you feel that? Well, yeah, not only getting the win, but, you know, it, it puts us back and forth. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot going on between fourth and seventh place right now. And, um, you know, we could end up fourth. We could end up seventh after this two, these two games. But uh, it's brought a lot of energy. Our practice today was very energetic. Everyone was into it. Uh, we're, we're excited about this next game, and uh, we need to control, you know, our own destiny. Yeah, again, Colorado State with the win. They go to 13 and 14 on the season. The 13 wins matches the win total from last year. And, again, still with two regular season games to go and then a few games in the tournament hopefully next week in Las Vegas and then the six conference wins the Rams now six and eight in Mountain West Conference play eclipses the five conference wins from a season ago so the improvements and the step-by-step -step improvements of building this basketball program uh, continue to be made and 
shown in the wind column. All right, we're going to give Coach Holt a little bit of a break. When we come back on the other side, we'll talk to freshman Sam Martin. That comes up next as we continue here with the Coors Light CSU Basketball Coaches Show from Milligan Sports at Colorado State Sports Network. All right, continuing along here on the Coors Light CSU Basketball Coaches Show, live at the Beach House Grill in Old Town, Fort Collins. Coach Show brought to you in part by Frontier Airlines. Two check bags are included and a whole lot more when you buy Classic or Classic Plus fares only at FrontierAirlines.com. Brian Roth back with you here at the Beach House Grill. Again, another great crowd on hand. It's the final program of the season. It, the final time we bring on a women's basketball player. We've been happy to, uh, to do that each and uh, every week here in the past month and happy to be joined by Sam Martin, the freshman out of Parker, prepped at Chaparral and putting up outstanding numbers. And uh, Sam, thanks for joining us. Did, did you think you would put up some of the numbers you have this year coming into the season because you're, you're doing things that freshmen don't do? Uh, not not necessarily just because I was coming off of an injury and hadn't played in a year so it was definitely a struggle but coach Holt and my teammates really helped me like get back into it and telling me I could shoot and do score things like that so. yeah Sam Martin out of again Chaparral <laughs> High School down in Parker you were one of the top players in the state as a junior and then hurt your knee what was that like to sit out your entire year of your senior year of basketball which is supposed to be the, the, the best year of your high school career um, it was definitely one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Um, it was hard watching my team just play and stuff, but I learned a lot from that year. I learned a lot from sitting on the bench. I got to help kind of coach a little bit and definitely taught me so much about the game that I didn't know. So Maybe get you a little more of an appreciation for playing the, the game of basketball? Most definitely. <laughs> yeah, and, and sometimes, you know, when you look back at it in the grand scheme of things, it, it it could be a positive when, when you look back at it. How about this season and, and, and of late, a five-game losing streak, bouncing back against Air Force. How big of a win was that? It was huge. It was really good for us. I mean, it brought our confidence back up, I think, and kind of just helped us get going again. Uh, we prepared really well for it. We've had really good practices consecutively, and I think it was just a good to finally get another win. So. You guys had dropped five games prior to that in a row. Did, was the team getting down? Was the confidence shaken at all of the ball club? Actually, no, not really. I, we practiced hard every day still, and we, we still believed. I don't think we ever let ourselves think we couldn't do it anymore. We still believed we could be this great team, and I think we're still believing, and we still think we can win a, win a Mountain West ch Conference championship. So. Yeah, well, the Rams, uh, two, road game, or two games coming up, one on the road, one at home at Utah. Um, what are your thoughts on the Utes? You guys beat them the first game this year. I imagine they're going to want some payback. Yeah, I'm sure they will, but I think we really want this win too. Um, definitely be a big win for us again on the road and playing them, and we're pretty equal, so I think it would be great for us to get it. One thing that Coach Holt has talked about this year, when you guys play well, it's been all about energy, energy, energy out of you guys. Uh, I know that's not an easy thing always to, to put on the court, but your thoughts on how key that is for you guys to play well and win games. It's huge. When we start like encouraging each other and we're playing as a team, and it just helps everything gets better and better. And especially energy helps our defense a lot. And the best games we've had are when we had really good defensive games. And it just like creates our offense, and it creates us like getting deflections and getting steals and fast break opportunities. Yeah. And that makes it, that gets us going. So, Sam Martin, freshman, joining us here in the program. She is uh, second in uh, scoring for the Rams at 12.6 per game, and then first in rebounding at six and a half boards a contest. What was the biggest adjustment coming from high school to college? What's that one single maybe biggest adjustment that that a player has to make going up to a Division One basketball? Uh, definitely, like. Boxing out is huge now. Like I didn't really ever have to box out as much in high school, whereas now in college, like everyone's just as big and everyone is. It's just and they have to play like strong, and that was probably my biggest adjustment is learning how to like stay low all the time and having to box out all the time and yeah. all of that. Final thought: We just spoke about the 13 wins, matches last year's win total. You've already eclipsed the win total that the Rams had last year in conference play. We're seeing this program be built. You're obviously a big, big key of that. Is that one of the reasons why you came to Colorado State? And where do you see this program going next year and the year after that? It is definitely one of the reasons. Um, I talked to Coach Hull a lot when I was like, younger, and I like, noticed that she was going to take this program somewhere, and I wanted to be a part of that with her and all the girls that I met along my way. 
and I definitely think we're going to achieve a lot this year still, and then I think even years past or years ahead will definitely yeah. keep this going. You've been having fun? Oh, yes, I have. Everything you thought it would be and more? Oh, yes. Well, good. Definitely. Keep up the great work. Fantastic year so far. Thank you. That's freshman Sam Martin, and I don't think anybody could have expected the numbers that she has put up here this year. All right, we'll let Sam go and uh, get you off to The Bachelor. What, what round is it, by the way, in The Bachelor? There's only three people left. Only three girls left? All right, it's getting down to crunch time here, right? <laughs> it's like three minutes left on the clock in a tie, tie game, right? Yeah, it's the best part. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll be back. We'll have one final segment with Kristen Holt coming up next from Elegant Sports, the Colorado State Sports Network. Well, we have one final segment on the program here tonight to talk Colorado State women's basketball, then we'll turn it over to the coach, Tim Miles. I'll just tell Tim to go, and I'll take my headset off and go get a beer. There you go. <laughs> and he'll fill up the <laughs> just, other 30 just minutes. Talk. That's right. <laughs> Unless you want to host the second half of the show with Tim. Sure. I think it would be one question, <laughs> and then he could take over. Yeah, that's, yeah, it makes my job easy. It's like stealing <laughs> sometimes when I get my yeah. paycheck. Hey, Kristen, um, we just had Sam Martin on it. I quickly talk about your, your freshman, because when you do talk about next year and the year after that and the year after that sam martin will be a big key to those seasons huge you know our as we build this program every recruiting class is very important and they have been a big part of what we're changing and uh you know just like the returners that we have and the incoming freshmen i mean every group's important and uh we're, tra we're changing a mentality and uh, i think that we're we've made the progress this year that you'd like to see and now we got to finish it out yeah, and, and as exciting as it is to talk about the future, it, it gets a little sad to this point of the year. I mean, it's two games left, then in the Mountain West Conference, and who knows, maybe postseason after that. But you're getting down to the past, last few weeks with, with the senior class that has been with you for four or five years. Yep, Bonnie and Zoe have been there since uh, I was an assistant here, and so we've been through it all. <laughs> yep. And, uh, you know, they... they they both have um, improved as players. They've, they've done well in the classroom. Uh, they're going to be successful individuals and as they head out, head out into the real world. And, um, you know, Sarah was a walk-on and, or, yeah, last year. And then, of course, we gave her a scholarship, which she deserved and um, became our captain. And that's a, a neat story in itself. And so that senior class, they're, you know, they're a very important part of building this, this thing. And uh, I, I give those kids a lot of credit. Yeah, Sarah Hemmings, Bonnie Barbie, and Zoe Simmons will play their final game at Moby Arena coming up on Saturday against San Diego State. Two o'clock tip on that? One. One o'clock tip on that. I knew it was earlier. So it'd be great to get fans out to Moby Arena coming up Saturday afternoon at one to uh, bid adieu to the Ram seniors. Now, exciting news, though, coming up this week as you expect to get Kelly Hardick back. Yeah, we're really excited. It's been a long time yeah. coming. <laughs> Yep, Kelly's going to play a little bit uh, Wednesday, and we'll see kind of how that goes. But she practiced today, and um, she said it felt like it was her first day of practice in the fall. So uh, she's energized, and that's the thing that Kelly is um, – I'm excited to have her because she brings an intensity and a competitiveness that – um, you know, only adds to our team, and I'm sure Sam's thrilled that she's got a sub and and uh, gives us nine nine healthy bodies. So that's that's really good. And yeah. um, certainly Megan and uh, Mandy, uh, they're at every practice. They Me Megan's out shooting around now and and getting her 10 15 minute workout in every day, and her hips doing great. And uh, we're really proud of what she's done and then Mandy's uh, Mandy is the best left-handed shooter in the whole world because that's what she's had to do this right arm has been in a sling yeah. she uh, really truthfully she can shoot left-handed very well so uh, just so she's not confused and shooting a two-handed shot when she comes back but um, no real proud of those kids because that's tough when you can't travel and you you feel a little bit uh, especially as a freshman that's that's hard um, you're back in the dorm and everyone else is on a road trip and uh, but they've they've handled it well well and when you look back to to september and i'm not sure when you made the decision on megan but when you look back to to the early portions of the fall you expected to have those two players not only be in the lineup but be integral parts of this year's ball club oh yeah i, I believe they both would have played significant minutes um and uh to not have that i mean it's it's not been our um, motto to focus on that but certainly it's reality 
and um, you know we're expecting that when they do come back next year they'll be stronger and better and, and uh, improved and hopefully mentally. I mean I, I think there's a lot to be learned from the sidelines even though you're not involved in the games you can learn a lot. All right, final thought before we let you go. It's our, it's our final show with you, so won't be able to, to talk to you next week going into conference play. But give us uh, some, some keys for your ball club to, to, to win a couple of games this week. I mean, Utah 6-8 and eight in conference play. San Diego State 6-8 and eight in conference play. You guys are 6-8 and eight in conference play. So still a lot uh, to be determined before we get to Vegas next week. But what will be some keys for you guys to have a successful week this week and then make a run in the tournament in Vegas next week? Well, I think at this time of the year, it's, it's the team that's the most efficient in what you're doing offensively and defensively. I mean, I know that's kind of a general statement, but that's true. Um, we're going to have to be good on the boards. We're going to have to bring that defensive intensity and, and energy. We do that. Um, our offense will be okay. Um, I'm excited to have San Diego State here, uh, and I think that'll be good. If we can play, to me, one of our best games of the year was at San Diego State. If we can duplicate that uh, on Wednesday and Saturday, um, I feel really good about our chances and and just the tur it's tournament time. I mean, yeah. what that's what you do all of this for all year. And to you know, we're not fizzling out. We're going to finish strong, and that's the goal of this of this team this year. And um, we're going to give it our best shot. Yeah, and it's interesting because you could play Utah or San Diego State coming up next Tuesday too. We could. We very well could. Um, you know, again, we we hope to finish fourth and um and then we of course our bracket you know how yes. it's whacked out Bad. but uh fourth plays nine and and five plays eight right down the three line three gets a first round by yeah. one and two get two first or it's first and second round buys they get automatic buys to the to the semifinals. Yeah. it's crazy i, it is. I don't you like just, that bottom line just go win just go win just go that's win. right yeah. well best of luck coming up this week and then we'll we'll see you down in vegas and help cheer you on okay, okay thanks at coach Kristen holt to the colorado state women making another marked improvement here in 2011. All right, we'll take a time out. We'll return to the Beach House Grill after this. Talk some men's hoops from Elegant Sports, the Colorado State Sports Network.